the president's tweets and his behaviors about this are just further evidence of the fact that he uses his power in a way that is designed to beat people down instead of lift people up. Frankly, when you look at what he's been tweeting today, directed at the whistleblower, um, directed at, at so many people, uh, you know, I, I frankly think that based on this and all we've seen him do before, including ta attacking members of Congress, that he frankly should be, his Twitter account should be suspended. Um, I think there is plenty of, of, of now evidence to suggest that he is irresponsible with his words in a way that could result in harm to other people. And so the privilege of using those words in that way should probably be taken from him. But doesn't that, I mean, play into certainly the hands of, you know, his, what, I don't know how many Twitter followers he has. I think it's in the range of 60 million who say, well, look, okay, now they're now, you know, the, the rich folks in Silicon Valley are just trying to cut out, silence me and taking me off Twitter. I, I'm sure that that will, that will be said, but I, it, we have to also agree that when the President of the United States speaks, her words are very powerful and should be used in a way that is not about belittling, much less harming anyone. And this President has, I think, never fully appreciated that responsibility. And so what we see continuously, including in the last 24 hours, is a use of his words, Donald Trump using his words, in a way that could subject someone to harm. And if he's not going to exercise self-restraint, then perhaps there should be other mechanisms in place to make sure that his, har his words do not, in fact, harm anyone. And that's my point. What we want to make sure is that his words do not actually result in harm to anyone.